think that there are a number of court cases um, pending. I think the governor is going to lose every one of them. Unfortunately, I think taxpayers are actually going to be on the hook because um, we're already paying $3 million per week to this town now to lock the taxpayers out of their house, our house. Right. And there's going to be countless lawsuits. I mean, I'm a lawyer. I'm not an expert in any of these areas, but I can already tell you probably a dozen grounds for suing, and we've got thousands and thousands of potential plaintiffs. I just, you know, I guess it's great that Scott Walker thinks he can flout the law because the state's got so much money that we can just pay it out in lawsuits and when he defies court orders. And um, one of Minnesota's Wisconsin nurses was just up seeing her Republican senator. Really? She had nothing to say to her but we have to do this because otherwise it would be rewarding bad behavior. Like we're kindergartners. And that's the only thing she kept repeating over and over and over. I guess I just I just want to see even one example of, of bad behavior. But I've, I've been here day and night. Day and night every single day since Wednesday the 16th when I got back into the state. And I have seen nothing but peaceful protests, joyful people singing, chanting. That's talking with each other, people in, in support and in opposition to the Walker administration. The governor is, I mean, he's just, he will do anything to continue his radical anti-worker, anti-middle class agenda and to shut down the voices of the people. And to me, uh, you know, that's the essence of democracy. And, and we you represent are, Dane County? Yes. And in the end, he's going to end up costing more money and yes. making the deficit worse. That's, right. That's what's so sad for the people that are supporting him. They don't seem to understand that. Yes. Does it feel a little bit like you're working under a new dictatorship all of a sudden? <laughs> well, I would certainly say that I would never, ever have imagined in my wildest dreams. I knew that he would pursue reckless policies that were irresponsible for our state, that would hurt the middle class, and only benefit his corporate overlords. But I never, ever imagined that we would be seeing the kind of abuses of power and anti-democratic behavior that we've seen. I mean, the idea that this capital would ever be closed to people, people who are singing, singing songs of peace, I would never, ever have imagined this. I mean, here, you know, we have a mother with her four children. She's a county board supervisor here. Her husband is the chief of staff who has worked in this building for decades. It is outrageous how people are being treated here. Just outrageous.